Hi, I'm Dr. Malini Narayanan, and I'm here to talk about hydrocephalus in general. I'm going to go a little more specifically about normal pressure hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is a condition uh, that occurs when there's too much water in the brain. When our brain produces even up to 500 cc's of what's called cerebrospinal fluid, and uh, when it doesn't drain properly, then one can experience the symptoms of high pressure hydrocephalus, which is a dangerous condition. The pressure in the brain grows because the fluid is building up, and that can lead uh, to very serious symptoms of coma, heart rate changes, sleepiness, and even death if untreated in a timely manner. But today we're going to be talking about a less serious condition, but nonetheless very important to the quality of life of the elderly and that is normal pressure hydrocephalus. In normal pressure hydrocephalus, there is uh, water, not necessarily water buildup that builds up the pressure in the brain, but that there's a dilatation of what's called the ventricles. The ventricles are deep in the brain and are filled with fluids. We all have that. And when it fills, when it, it's always filled with fluid, but when it dilates, it creates symptoms of gait instability, um, urinary incontinence, and a slow onset of dementia. If untreated, it progresses so that one is unable to even walk, unable to even think, and having severe urinary incontinence. Amazingly, a shunt, which is a surgery that creates a diversion of the cerebral spinal fluid from this ventricle, down into the belly via a tube all under the skin reduces the dilatation of these ventricles and improves these symptoms and thereby improving the quality of life. Certainly when surgery is decided the benefits outweigh the risk but a careful analysis needs to be done and even a trial where we temporarily remove fluid, the cerebral spinal fluid, through a lumbar puncture, called, also called a spinal tap, or a lumbar drain, which is a temporary tube to remove cerebral spinal fluid, and see whether the patient improves in their symptoms of gait instability, dementia, clarity in thinking, or urinary incontinence. If it does, and the trial was a success, then we would proceed with talking about placing a permanent shunt. And this can really help uh, with some of these symptoms uh, in these cases. Some of the risks of a shunt can be an infection, even a bleed. So an expert who is comfortable in placing shunts and managing shunts post-operative is very important for a successful outcome. Thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure to talk about normal pressure hydrocephalus.